Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi. I say cheers with my coffee early in the morning here from Mexico, Playa de Carmen. Hmm. Today, short TA video on Bitcoin, what I see, what is very important to watch, and yes, we had a weekly close, and it was not a positive one, but I will show you what can happen in the next couple of weeks as well. Now, let's quickly jump into that video. We <laughs> first part of the video um, I will put my face somewhere right here in the bottom it's not the most important part uh, this is the bam bam indicator on the 30 minute showing you again yes also in the 30 uh, spot trading you buy at the long flag and you sell at the short flag so you would have bought over here at uh, 42 500 you would have sold over there at 42 800 what 300 bucks uh, not huge movements so also not many trades leverage of course works and um, the smaller the time frame this is the 30 minute uh, the more you need to attend to the screen if you zoom out you need to attend less to the screen again if you have any questions on the bam bam indicator go to the bitcoinfamily.com or visit our discord server um, and if you want to trade all the signals that we create here the longs and the shorts and again it works on the uh, one hour it works in the four hour it works in the 12 hour like on the four hour we had a short over there so we were waiting for a new long um, and the moment to exit that short so uh, but if you want to sign up then go to the bitcoinfamily.com if you want to use our links you are supporting us uh, by clicking these things and buy it at the moment you get a four thousand one hundred dollar bonus plus access to the bit launch pad um, at the moment i need to be very honest prime xbt had has the biggest bonus it's an great exchange i have been using it for a long time at the moment they have up to seven thousand us dollar bonus so prime xbt at the moment a seven thousand uh, dollar bonus that's a huge bonus uh, they have a lot of products like they have the, the the trading products copy trading module yield accounts trading contests uh, all kinds of markets cryptocurrencies forex commodities stock uh, trading tools a lot of them so Prime XBT is still a massive player in the market, now giving a 7,000 US dollar bonus. Click the link to get um, that bonus. Now, let's jump into the more important charts. Four more charts. <clears throat> this one is the first one. This is the day chart. Is my face okay? My face okay. I will put it a little bit smaller, guys. This is the day chart. On the day chart, we can see something happening. You know, we had support at that uh, 40K level here, 41K. Uh, we have a long flag. We are closing above the yellow stepping line. And if we look in the bottom to the BAM, then we can see green starting, but there is still a lot of blue. That blue part is not positive. We need to get rid of that blue part, just like here. There was no blue part. You see what happened? BAM! Here, we are seeing blue parts. That is not positive. We need to... That blue part needs to disappear. On the RSI on the daily, we can see the downtrend, the dotted line. And we can see the short-term uptrend, that green line. We need to break that dollar line. We need to come above that dollar line almost always when we go to the 40 level. before Below the 40 level on RSI is a mo beautiful moment to buy. If we go to the 60 to 70 level, that's a moment to sell. So we need to break this line, go all the way up to that level, uh, and then that will be a moment to sell again. So that is what you can see on the day chart. If we break the structure, also very clear, to be co completely clear we can fall back to that 40k level again so we must hold this structure at the moment because else we can fall back to 40k again we don't want to see that and that is exactly what you see in the weekly the weekly at the moment is a very yeah, I, I find it a very strange chart also here you can see the bam bam indicator on the weekly yes i told you we have the low over there now we have a higher low over here and another higher low and they had a high higher low higher high higher low we need to have, see a new higher high to stay bullish on the weekly chart every candle is a week but this here this nvt red to gray to red to gray i don't like this this gray area just started because we closed this week but that can still change if this candle here this red candle which closes in six days and 11 hours turns green like a huge green candle then this will stay red and that is what i want to see 
I don't want to see this grade. If this is gray, we are going to see a dump again, like this area over there. Let me draw that for you. I will draw the eclipse over here, there. Look, that area. Gray to red, again to gray. Now, the second time we went to gray, we dumped all the way from 57 all the way here to 30. It's a huge dump. The second time we turned to gray. Gray, red, we are turning gray, but this candle needs to close in six days. So we can still make that part red by creating a green candle out of this one. At the moment, this candle opened at uh, 43.99. So we need to close way above 43. If we look back at the previous time um, that we saw this scenario, uh, it was over here that we had a huge green, uh, red candle and then we followed up by a huge green candle. So this is a very positive move over there and we need to create that move over here in my opinion again this week i think is the most important week um if it comes to the decision are we in a bull or are we in a bear market it's going to be an exciting week we are going to film again for this huge documentary so it's going to be very busy but i'm going to keep my eye on this because i think it's a very important week if, if we're going to break this level we we should we can definitely visit back to 37 38k level guys and that will for me become bearish or i will become bearish not fully bearish but a lot bearish um <clears throat> stock rsi yeah we had the blue crossing the red here in this area but uh, crossing back again down below the red we need to cross a lot above the red and then break into this bluish box uh, to become bullish again here again on the bottom normal rsi Yes, there is still an uptrend, but we are breaking the uptrend in this week. Also, not positive. We need to be bouncing off this green line up. So, yes, you might say, Didi, oh, you're quite relaxed. Um, you know, it's uh, not that bullish all. No, but for me, Bitcoin is a long-term game, and I'm still bullish in the long term. In the midterm, also still bullish till we create a lower low on the weekly and on the daily. You know, that, that's when I start to freak out or maybe hedge some into stable coins. Now, I have two more amazing charts. I'm talking too long again. Oh, it's seven minutes already. So let's quickly jump into those two last charts. Um, bam, this is the first one over here. Because I want to give you some positive vibes as well, of course. Uh, the first chart is this one. The totally, total supply held by short-term hodlers. Now... If we look to the level of 3 million Bitcoin, every time when we touch that level, do look what happens with the price. So we came below that level over here. So the total supply held by short term holders, we came below 3 million Bitcoin. The price, the, the price, the price massively ran up. Here we came below 3 million Bitcoins the price massively went up that was the 3 to 14k level here again 3 million dollar the price massively went up this was the, the this is like a, a run from 8k to 60k guys now again the price was um <clears throat> the level was below 3 million after this normally you expect again that huge yellow hill which creates a price increase a massive price increase that is how i look on to the fundamentals so it's not completely price rated but fundamentals so for me the supply now held by the short-term holders only three million bitcoins is indicating um this is not a blow off top yet you know the blow off top is mostly like here when a lot of people um, a lot of short-term holders hold bitcoin that's like six million so we need to go up from here positive in my opinion now next chart that is this one this is the last chart guys uh, i will put my face over yeah let's put it over here I mean, doesn't matter um this is the bitcoin i found it on twitter uh, i can't see who created it ah here 
in the middle you can see it btc fuel i really like the chart because you can see the uh, bitcoins four waves pattern you see the waves the green blue yellow uh, purplish we have that here again in 2017 the green uh, blue yellow purplish and now again we have the same the green blue uh, we didn't see yellow and purplish yet um, if you take a look at the way he took a look at the chart or she i don't even know um, and if you look to the bottom then you can see the realized cap hodl wave so that's also having to do with how long are people holding the bitcoins you can see the numbers over here people hold longer than 10 years all the way uh, to 24 hours and then you can see those waves are like working together with the price that's how you can see it mostly one two three four you see one peak two is bigger three and four peak one peak two is bigger three and four peak here again you see the same one peak two peak three and four peak pause the video if you can't see it because you need to understand what i'm saying and here again now we see the one peak two peak we still need to see the three and four peak and yes if you look also to the chart you can see that first run we have one two three four very close to each other the second one one two three four got a little bit distance and then the third run, the one the 2017, uh, had the same. Yeah? Got more distance. And now here we are seeing a little bit more distance again. And that's what they mean by an extending bull run. The bull run is taking longer. Now, that was really everything for today. I bam, hope you really enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up. Share with your friends and family. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, join me in the dark side of the moon of Pink Floyd. Uh, because it's always positive in the dark side. You always see the light moon somewhere over there, guys. Um, I hope you really enjoyed it. I hope you really enjoy your coffee. Um, leave a comment if you want. And subscribe to the channel. Because we need to go to 100k followers as well thanks for watching and see you tomorrow again bam